Hi, Laurie. Hi, Laud. Hi, Mortimer. It's so good to see you all. I'm so excited. Hi, guys. I know. It's so exciting because tonight is Christmas Eve Eve. It's a thing. I know. And that's so exciting. But it's Christmas Eve Eve. You know, we've got the stockings hung by the chimney and all of that. And Laud's afraid he's not going to be able to sleep. So very, it is all very exciting. I'm Reverend Meredith Manning Brown, our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. And this is Ms. Laurie, our, our uh, director of children and youth ministries, of course, with Lot and Mortimer. And we're so excited you're here for Celebrate Wonder. We want to encourage you in all of the things you were doing. I was just baking Christmas cookies. Um, mm -hmm. You remember to read your Bible story. This week, it's out of Luke chapter two, verses one through seven. Use your kit that has activities and prayers and things for you all to do as a family. And um, to uh, stick around here for just a minute to watch the Bible story video and sing the joy song this week. It should be lots of fun as you're getting ready for Christmas Eve tomorrow. So it's exciting. So exciting. So we will see you next week, uh, right back here for another quick little run at Celebrate Wonder. But until then, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, guys. Happy sleeping. Hi, friends, it's Abigail. Our story today is about the birth of Jesus. Before I first heard this story, I imagined Jesus being born in the most amazing place. I thought his family would have the best room and a beautiful and huge mansion. Jesus was so important. But the truth is that Jesus' birth was not easy. His parents, Mary and Joseph, had to take a long journey right before he was born. When they arrived, they couldn't find a room for his birth. Instead, Mary and Joseph had to share space with animals. Right after Jesus was born, he was laid in a manger. A manger is a big bowl that animals eat out of. Can you believe Jesus slept in one of those? Despite the situation, there was such joy and relief because the promise of God was fulfilled and Jesus was born. This story teaches us that even when things are hard, we have to keep going because joy is often on the other side. When I was younger, my whole family came together to go on a camping trip. There were 15 people going on the trip. We had to hike to the top of a mountain. Finally, we got to the top and realized there was only one small cabin and there were only three beds. How are all 15 of us going to fit? While some of my cousins got really sad, my aunt looked at us and said, we can make this work and it will be fun. It's not the perfect situation, but it can still be really good because we are together. She was right. We played games and had a giant sleepover. I found so much joy in being with my family and was so thankful to God for all of us being together. In my story, there was joy even when the situation wasn't what we planned. And there is a lot of joy in this Bible story too. The joy of having a new baby, of finding a place to stay, and of seeing God's promises come true. Jesus was here. Even when joy is hard to find, we can see it in unexpected places. That's a wonderful gift. Now it's time for you to wonder. Jump beautiful side. 